Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I'm back. Okay. <laughs> First, let me say the video I did with the tape transfers, the video before this, but I'll link it at the end and down below if you didn't see it. I forgot to do it with the um, inkjet printer with the tape transfer. I don't know what I was thinking. So when I'm done with this video, done with this part, I will uh, do this so we can see. But like I said, I was like, what the heck is this paper here? Because I'm doing this right after. It's that's when it was. Okay, so I have paper pulp, and that's the paper pulp I'm getting from doing the transfers. And I don't like to throw anything away. I'm cheap, and so I'm going to show you a couple of things of what to do with it. So I'm using Mod Podge paper with this. However, you can use Mod Podge mat. You can use white school glue, Elmer's glue, whatever you have. Uh, any white clear drying glue. Now listen, if you have like glitter glue or I think Elmer's is the one who puts out all the cool, uh, you know, like glittery glue and all that. Use it. It's no big deal. Just try to coordinate your colors. No, you're not coming here, kitty cat. Go. Um, she jumps right in the middle of everything. I love her. I love when she lays on me, but I don't want her on my desk at the moment. So, okay. So here's what we did. We took some paper pulp that I got from doing the tape transfers. And if you're new to my channel or new to this, uh, I'll be doing, I'll show you a transfer at the end so you know what to do but like I said check out the video um, and all I did you can see here I just took some glue again white glue whatever you have save that paper pulp now I don't use my hands um, doing this you can you can put on a glove you can do many many things you know I have a video where we use this which is a feminine well, female feminine I don't know it comes wrapped in it pro issue thing whatever where you can use this as texture or just as a uh, stamp on it as uh, tissue paper whatever so I mean you can take even if you have something like this because you don't want to get it on your hands and use it on your pointer finger and mush it around if you want you see what I'm saying you do you boo. you do whatever you want okay so you can see I have the white glue mixed in there and I just use this. Like I said, you can use whatever. I'm not here to tell you what you have to use like that. And then what I like to do is take water, give it a couple squirts. It doesn't like a couple squirts, you know what I'm saying? And all right. There we go. Okay. And then you can see here I put some black and I colored it. You can leave it white. And then, um, let me take some of it. All right. Any day now. And sorry, my, I think, and you can spread it out. You might want a little bit more glue if it's not sticking, but this looks fine. And then you leave it dry. You have texture paste, texture paste with recycled paper. Hello. You just reused, recycled. Well, look what you did. Okay. So let me fix this computer thing real quick. Oh no, I'll wait till I'm done. I don't want to screw anything up. Okay. So as you can see here, I used the black and I'm using it as hair. So then I just do this. I scoop it up and I lay it on here, pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it everywhere and just putting it as hair. Now you can make this go up. You can make it go down. You can do whatever you want. Make it as eyebrows. Okay. And you're seeing what I'm doing here and it would take me a little bit longer to get to the point that I wanted, but and if I had more, I'd put it going down there, but you see in what I'm doing, you don't have to make it have big hair. Like I would like, I like where I'm a curly big hair, but okay. you see what I'm saying? Now don't do that where you scrape it and you get the color up there. I mean, cause you're gonna have to go over it, but um, I think you're seeing what I'm saying. All right. And then I'll show you how I colored it that way. Then you can see, I don't want it to be black though. Again, let's do a, let's do a color. Let's do, oh, let's do orange. Cause it's sitting here. Oh, nope. Not sitting here anymore. I just almost killed my dog with it. It flipped out of my hands cause I couldn't grab it. So we're going to use yellow. Yep. I always knew it was going to be yellow. Oh my God. <laughs> I wish I had a second camera filming that because I don't know. I would never be able to do that again. Never. All right. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. All right. 
kind of is like a tuna fish sandwich kind of consistency this is. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't eat a lot of tuna. I used to. My mom used to make these tuna hush puppies, which are delicious, where she mixes the stuff, all kinds of stuff together, and then you bake it. It's very good, but I haven't had it in a while, but that's what that reminds me of. Okay, so we have some yellow, and maybe we want to put a little, I don't know why we would want to put a little yellow in her hair, but you can. And I just scrape it up, and like I said, I, I like to color it um, before I put it down because I just think it's easier. Do you know what I mean? But do you have to? No. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to close my Mod Podge paper because I'll drop it everywhere. I'm going to take my water. Where'd you go? Now, remember, if you need to put like four squirts of water, by all means, squirt the water. Um, you know, it's not a big deal. If I only do one squirt and you do two squirts. And I'm going to draw it a little bit just to show you. But I want to paint over this so you can see it. By the way, you know, this is for Margaret. Well, Margaret, Margaret. And because you're using blue, it's going to stick to the paper and the acrylic paint because that's what it's meant to do. If you don't have a hair dryer, I mean, if you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. And if you don't have a hair dryer, you can go to your local uh, Goodwill, thrift store, whatever they have them for a couple bucks, or just put on a couple favorite videos or a couple favorite songs, and you know, leave it sit there, go on to something else for a few, and then you will uh, have it dry. You know, because the paper is a little thick. Not a big deal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this a little because I want this so I'm going to paint over it. And then I'll do that tape part right there. Give that a second. So now we're going to do this transfer. So what this is, is like I said, I have the video where I did the tape transfers. This is a piece of uh, clear shipping tape. Uh, I got this at the uh, dollar store. It's made by Scotch, but they have them at the, at the dollar store. You know, where you, what you, oh my God, Kelly, where you, uh, you know, for packing like Christmas stuff and whatnot and to ship. And what I did was on those, I used um, magazine print. And I wanted to show how the inkjet printer uh, paper, if you print something out, would work. And that's what this is. So let's do this just for a minute while that cools off for a second. So I'm just going to take, and it's just printer paper out of my inkjet with some water. I've been using that water like crazy. And look at it. It's soaking in there because it's that printer paper so thin. All right. And here we go. Now you can see I like leaving I like leaving the uh, a little tail at the end, right? So I can peel off if I want, but I'm gonna do it this way. Now, inkjet printer is not um, permanent. Okay, when it gets wet, it smudges and smears. So this is a piece of the paper that came off. And I'm going to lay it there because essentially what the inkjet printer is doing at this moment is transferring the ink because the ink is not set. That's why they say, oh, use an inkjet printer. Um, I mean, use a uh, laser printer because it's permanent. It's toner. It's not this, right? So, you know, but not everybody has that and it's very expensive. So I'm going to show you. This is what you'll get, which is much lighter. All right, and you glue it down the same way. You glue it down the same way. And like I said, if, you know, I like saving these because 
once these dry, these are great to put on your mixed media papers. Okay. So I'm going to save that little piece there. But let me show you. You see? And that's what you get. So can you do it with the tape in your inkjet printer? You sure can. But just know that you are transferring. Like, for instance, if I took, good God, Kelly, do you have anything around here? If I took a piece of paper and I laid it down on here at the moment, gave it a good push, and then lift it up, what's going to happen is, you can't see a lot of it because a lot of the ink already came off, but you can kind of see that it got the ink on there. You see? Fairly. It's like a ghost image. But, you know, if this was right out, you could do something like that. So that's kind of what this is. Same with the glue and all that kind of stuff. You're kind of taking the first layer off. Okay? So then we have this. It's practically dry. I'm not going to screw with it too much because I don't want it to uh, come off because it should dry a little bit longer. I'm going to put some, a plop of yellow glue on there and I'm going to use my fingers, um, use a clean one, not the, you know, and I'm going to like smush it in at first. Okay. Whatever color you want. So remember, this could be the way you do the hair. Maybe you're not sure of the color of the hair that you want. Maybe you just want some texture in your art journal. Look how fun. All right. I have fun smashing glue into throwaway paper. I don't like it up my nails, but then we'll dry it for a minute. I'm going to show you the difference, which I think you can probably already see now. But it doesn't matter to me, especially if I'm using a darker color. Okay. So. I mean, there you go. But you can see the difference. When I mixed it on my nonstick mat, what happened was all the ink that was in the page uh, that I had taken off uh, mixed with the color as well. So you kind of get this kind of uh, off a little color. You know, you can see some of that gray in there um, and it makes it lighter. This, when you do on top, which took nothing, um, you get a better color. And that's just, I mean, you know, that's just the name of the game. And then that's the hair. So you can use it as texture in two different ways. You can use it, like I said, as hair or anything else. Um, we can make some, um, maybe, like I said, let me know down below if you guys want me to make any paper or we'll make some cool paper or something with paper pulp. I love doing that. And yeah, so that's all I got for you guys today. As always, please be kind to each other. You'll never know about us. Somebody else is fighting. Remember, all techniques, we play, we don't worry about the progress. Progress before perfection. I couldn't think of the word because I've been talking all morning. And if you want to see anything, if you have any questions, if you need like further in-depth kind of things, no problem. You can leave me a comment down below or you can um, find me all over my social media. It's down below as well. And also my group is down below. You can go there, All Things Creative on Facebook. And yeah. Margaret, I hope you uh, got a little bit of inspiration here so you can take it and run with it. I'm sure you will rock it and share me everywhere. That's all I ask so I can be spread out into the world. Wouldn't that be lovely? I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.